Greetings everyone and welcome to Batista Nation. So delighted that you could join us today. In today's video, we're going to cover three things. First, I'm going to show you how you can update your theme. Secondly, we're going to cover the bezels for the standalone emulators introduced in Batista 33. And finally, we're going to examine the mega bezels also introduced in Batista 33. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, so first thing is first, let's go ahead and cover uh, how to update your theme. As most of you know, I got the Batista Club theme. Notice here, for Steam right here, that Steam logo is the one I downloaded off the internet and put it in there. Also notice there's no video there. Let's also look at applications. Okay, I don't kind of like that pink there. And there's also there's no video for that as well. Fortunately, this particular theme has been updated. So to update it, let's go ahead and press start on your game pad. Let's go into UI settings. And theme set, let's go ahead and pick something else. Let's go ahead with the carbon, which is the default theme. All right. All right, and from there, go to updates and downloads. Right here, press that. Go into themes. And then look for your particular theme. In my case, it's about to set a reload it. I'm going to click on that. And notice that you can either remove it or update it. Well, I want to update it. And we'll let it do its thing, okay? I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this section. All right, so it's been updated. Let's go ahead and get out of this. Let's go back into UI settings. And let's go ahead and pick my theme. Let's go ahead and pick uh, about to set a club reload it. You can see there, oh yeah, much better, look at that. There's my flat pack as well, looks great. This also has been changed, got a nice uh, video as well. Let's check out the Steam, look at that, so much better. And I have a video there now as well. So it's a good idea to check to see if your theme has been updated. And if so, then go ahead and update it because you might have more features added to your theme, okay? I definitely like that, it looks so much better. And it's more legible as well, look at that. Okie dokie, let's go ahead and proceed now with the bezels for the standalone emulators. So on your gamepad, go ahead and press start. And let's go back to updates and downloads. And let's go to content downloader. And from there, just go to the bottom and select and select refresh. Okay, press that. And now you're gonna see a bunch of bezels have been added there. Okay. You can go ahead and download these right here. All right, so the bezels have downloaded. Now we can go ahead and check them out. So let's go to Xbox. So now this is the new look for Xbox with the bezel, the default bezel. Okay, looks nice. You can also change that from the content we just downloaded. Press select button, go into advanced system options, go into decorations, go into decoration set. These up here will not work, okay? So that's the default on console, that's the same thing. Uh, then we have default curve, check that one out. back in there again decorations this also works default curve night this gives you a little more darker image Go 
back in there. And these also work. Default no curve, default no curve night. This one doesn't work. Default glaze, okay? So now those are your options. Of course, if you don't want those bezels at all, you can go ahead and get rid of them all together and have it set to widescreen. So let's go into decoration set. And let's go back up to the top. Choose none. And then move from there. Go to scaling mode and choose widescreen. Watch. All right, so the option is yours. You can choose whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. But now you have more options. Let's go ahead and put it back the way it was. Advanced system options, decorations. Let's go to auto. All right, now we cover bezels for the standalone emulators. Let's go ahead and go into the mega bezels. Now, the mega bezels will not work for all the emulators. In fact, for the high end emulators, you will not have that option at all. All right, let's go into Sega Genesis. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and show you this game in default settings. Sega! Okay, so that's in default settings. Now let me go ahead and show you my system itself here. I'm running this. And I7, 1165G7, okay? Level generation Intel chip. All right, let's go ahead and add some mega bezels. Press select in your game pad. Go to advanced system options. Go emulator for the time you're gonna leave it at auto. Let's go into shader set. Go ahead and choose mega bezel. And decorations, we're gonna leave it at auto for the time being. Graphics API. So we have three options here. Among the three, OpenGL will not work at all for Mega Bezel. So you only have two options, GL Core and Vulkan. Among these two, GL Core is the fastest option, and Vulkan is the slowest, especially for this Intel integrated chip. On the discrete graphics, uh, even then, GL Core is faster, but Vulkan will work just as well. But for the time being, we're going to go ahead and choose GL Core. All right? Everything else, we're going to leave in default settings. Watch. So you can see there, it's struggling with the Intel integrated chip. Let's go back in there, and let's go ahead and choose light. Ultra light, you won't, you won't see much of a difference at all, uh, but it will run. Right, you can see there that it's able to run 60 frames per second, okay? So for Intel, the best options are going to be the following. Advanced system options, and from there we'll go to Mega Bezels Lite. And it also has to be on GL Core. If you try Vulkan, it's going to really stutter. It's not going to work at all. Let's also change something else too here. Let's go back into Decorations. And this time we're going to choose the Bezel Project, okay? To download that, you have to make sure that you're going to start, updates and downloads, bezel project. And from there, look for your particular console, right? In this case, it's Mega Drive. I already got it downloaded. Okay, let's go back out here. Let's try this again. All right, 
Now let's go ahead and choose another emulator altogether. Go back to Advanced System Options. You have to realize that not all the emulators will be able to do the mega bezels, okay? There's some consoles with some emulators that will not work no matter what you try. Let's try Pico Dry because it does make it look quite different. But unfortunately, it does slow it down as well. Everything else is the same. All right, you get the idea. It slows it down quite a bit. And if I try to do ultra light, let me show you. Okay, ultra light takes the least amount of resources. Or you can see there, it plays at 60 frames per second, but I really don't know as much of a difference. So I don't think it's worthwhile. I also want to point out something else. And that is the very first time that you do these mega bezels, it's kind of slow. It may take as long as 30 seconds to load up the very first time. In one case, uh, this Intel Vulcan, it took about two and a half minutes before it loaded up. And even then it was really slow. But again, the very first time, it's kind of slow. A second time, third time, it will load up much faster, okay? But for Intel integrated chip, your best bet is Mega Bessel Lite. And again, uh, make sure you choose GL Core. Vulcan is just way too slow. Now let me go ahead and show you the difference using AMD integrated graphics chip. It's much better and much faster. All right, so let me go ahead and show you this system. I'm using here an ASRock Ryzen 4800U, okay? Now, let's go in there. Let me show you my settings. Okay, I'm using Pico Drive, which is probably the most demanding among these four. And I'm using Mega Bezel, which is also, again, among these three, the most demanding. And I'm using GL Core. All right, you can see that it played really well at 60 frames per second among the most demanding of the mega bezels and the most demanding of the emulators, okay? So obviously the AMD integrated chip does a much better job than Intel does. And if you have a discrete graphics card, which I tried this on in the video, 1660 Super, it plays really well Vulkan, OpenGL, I can do a Nintendo 64, so forth and so on without any problems whatsoever. Now on this AMD, let's go try Nintendo 64. All right, let me show you the settings of this one. Advanced system options. All right, for emulator, I use the M64 Plus next. I use light. If I try to do mega bezel, it doesn't play 60 frames per second. Maybe about 55 
frames per second. Okay, so I got going down to mega light. The decorations, bezel project, and of course GL core. Check it out. Alright, you can see that it plays really well. Okay? So I should give you again an idea for the AMD integrated graphics chips. Again, best bet, I like Intel. Just go ahead and choose uh, either Mega Bezels or Mega Light. And make sure you also choose Geo Core. Well, that's a wrap. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and like it. That would really help me out with YouTube's algorithms. If this is your first time watching a video from Batocera Nation, then I highly encourage you to check out our YouTube channel, as well as our website, BatocerraNation.com. That will give you a great overview of what Batocera is all about, and whether this is something that will meet your emulating needs. Finally, I want you to know that I've got a lot more videos coming up, so therefore, please consider subscribing so that you'll stay on top of the latest and greatest of Batocera. As a matter of fact, next time, I will be covering splash videos since Batocera 33 and above makes things a lot easier for us. I will tell you more about it in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time on Batocera Nation. Bye.